Right, I'm in Mount Olive, Illinois at a Shell gas station. This is day five of the uh, overall the trip, day three on Route 66. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you've enjoyed the first couple videos on Route 66. Anxious to get started. Should end up in Missouri today. It's going to go up in the arch at St. Louis. But I found out that you need reservations now and the next available spot is July 10th and this is July 5th. So no arch for me today, but I'm still going to try to get some pictures and everything. Excited about a new, new adventure, new day. Going to make it to Missouri. Will be the second, uh, third time in Missouri. The other two times was at the airport. So actually the first time outside the airport in Missouri. Anxious to see that. Going to finish up Illinois and then we'll see what all happens. Thank you for coming along. All right, those of you on my channel knows me very well knows this is the th type of things I love. A huge rocking chair on Route 66. Of course, there's a keep out sign, which means no sitting. That's right, you can look, but you cannot. Sometimes it pays to be in the right place at the right time. I just throw over this. It's really a one lane bridge. I have a red light, you have to wait for it to turn green because you only get one vehicle at a time. But to get down here right when this barge is going underneath the bridge is great. All right, I just showed you the bridge I went across. This is the old way. As you can tell, it is closed to motor vehicles. Bicycles are allowed, walking's allowed. So we're gonna walk across this. I'm gonna take a look, see what it all looks like. But this is how you used to have to get to this island I'm on right now. And part of the 66 experience. Okay, still walking across this bridge. It does seem like it goes, it goes on forever, but it's, it's really cool. If you don't get off the beaten path, you don't see stuff like this. Too, too many times, too many of us, I've, well, I probably do it less than most, but I've stayed on the beaten path before and I've missed all kinds of views like this, all kinds of views of life. So take the chance, take a turn that you may be questioning about taking. That was this one, but I'm very excited that I did this part. All right, still on the bridge. One of the iconic facts about this bridge is this curve right up here. Yes, we're going across the Mississippi River and we make a curve. Yep, there you go. You see it here. Here's how you would have to make this turn. Uh, I would be a little nervous on this narrow bridge to make this type of turn. But this, and I'm finding out on 66, danger was commonplace. And you can see the end of the bridge down there where the bicycles is. So this has been a pretty good, cool segment. Gives you some contrast between old and new. Thing about Route 66 is it's more than just a route or a route. It's more than just a road. It's an experience. Experience to see not just what it was like at the time period, but just to step back and just to, just to see what was on this iconic road, what is still left. And it just, it's an amazing historical experience. It's a major, ma amazing scenery experience. And I'm a, I haven't even made it out of the first state yet. All right, welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. Yes, I finally made it out of Illinois to Missouri on Route 66. This is slightly off, about, uh, about four tenths of a mile off the path, but it's well worth the stop. Again, I wanted to go up but you have to buy tickets in advance and one of the negatives about not planning your trip is you run into a situation like this but one of the positives is you get to go and stop wherever so, so sometimes it works out most of the time it works out for me sometimes it doesn't this is one of those occasions 
All right, I am at Route 66 Visitor Center. This is the Merrimack, I hope I pronounced it right, River Bridge. And it was saved, uh, it was deteriorating, it was gonna tear it down, but they were able to save it for rest and trying to restore it. However, they still gotta raise a lot of money to do that. And if you're interested, go to savethisbridge.org. Again, that's savethisbridge.org. Yes, I got just, just got to talk to two people in the visitor center. Very passionate about this. And so I told them, I said, hey, what the heck? Let's put this on the video and see if we can get some people to donate to it. So if you're interested, please go to that website. And for those of you who will donate, thank you very much. If you know someone else, let them know. It'd be nice to save a piece of history. All right. This is kind of unique in about, about a mile. I've seen three abandoned motel signs. Diamond Inn Motel. And you have the Garden Way Motel sign on the bottom here. If you go across the road, you'll see the Garden Way Motel sign over there. Also saw a sign that just said motel earlier. Now, when they talk about 66 and it's heyday it had all this stuff and then the interstate which you might be able to hear behind me when it came in this is some of the stuff that happened some of these iconic motels and stuff like that couldn't survive without the traffic obviously you need people to have a motel and they started closing that's all the remains of some of these places are just these signs okay what i'm showing you now is an abandoned miniature golf course this is right down from the three signs I just showed you for the motels, or two of the three signs. So this is the miniature golf course that used to be here. All right, I apologize, the sun is, it's 88 degrees and it's really hard to, to take videos and pictures right now with the way the sun is, but I wanted to just show you this abandoned motel. This thing was huge, just to tell you how much traffic came through here at one point. Now, I don't know how the official age of this motel, but this is some of the stuff that I'm noticing in this area of abandonment. All right, this is the fourth abandoned motel sign or motel in the last I think three miles. All right, had to look up on the app. According to my app, this is the former Garden Way Motel. Again, to support this many motels in this shorter area, this place had to be booming at one point. All right, another one in the number of abandoned motels on Route 66. This is the Sunset Motel and it doesn't look like it's been abandoned that long. But these are, all, this is uh, only about four, maybe three or four miles down the road from the last one I showed. All right, I am in Sullivan, Missouri, wrapping up day three at the gazebo in Sullivan, Missouri. Awesome day, finally made it into Missouri. Got to do a lot of wonderful things. You can see me walking across a mile bridge. I basically walked across the Mississippi River today, which I never thought I would say that. So, I mean, it's been, it's been a cool trip so far. Got quite a few, quite a bit more distance to go. But as I said, I'm excited. I'm glad I'm able to share it with you. And this is the trip of a lifetime for me on going across the country. I've always wanted to go across the country and being the historical person I am, being the senior, scenic person, I just you know, like love seeing the scenery. Route 66 seemed to be the perfect choice. And so far, it hasn't disappointed me. Uh, but as I said, it was, it's sad to see some of the abandoned stuff, but 
it's still part of the, the history. It's part of the past of Route 66. If you get a chance to go on this, go on this, I highly suggest it. Uh, we'll talk more as the trip goes along about that stuff. But again, thank you for coming along. You know the routine. Like this video, thumbs up. Subscribe. If you're new to the channel, hit that bell notification. Tells you when I'm uploading videos. As I said, right now I'm doing it kind of differently. I usually only upload once a week. And it may still only continue that way, but we'll go see, because again, I'm having quite a few videos from this trip, more than I expected to have already. I'm excited for tomorrow, uh, more through Missouri. I don't know if I'll get anything past Missouri. I'm taking my time, relaxing, enjoying. Too many, too many times in my life I have pushed myself to the limit and towards the end of the day, I, I wouldn't be enjoying the trip. I'm enjoying this thing. Taking, you know, stopping when I feel like I need to stop. So, again, we, I will see you on the next video.